Well, as we said in our last video, uh, we can write the equation. We can write an equation of a perpendicular line for lines that are perpendicular when they are in standard form, uh, just by swapping coefficients and changing signs. So if we do that here, uh, let's swap the coefficients. Okay, so the the three that's in front of the x is going to go over here, and the four that's in front of the y is going to go over here. And then we're also going to uh, change the sign. We notice that in the original equation it's a plus sign. So we're going to change that to a minus sign. So when we make all these changes, we'll end up with 4x minus 3y is equal to some number c. So again, uh, we, we took the coefficient of the x in the original equation, and it becomes the coefficient in front of the y. We took the coefficient that was in front of the y in the original equation, and it becomes the new coefficient of x, and then we, we switch the sign. Okay, now that process is similar, or rather is, is the same as uh, making the, the negative reciprocal of the original slope. And we just want to reiterate that perpendicular lines, the relationship between the slopes of perpendicular lines uh, is that they are negative reciprocals of one another. And then uh, we have this, the, that it's equal to the number c. What that means is that number could take on any value because there are actually infinitely many lines that are perpendicular to 3x plus 4y equals 12. Now, in this specific example, though, we have the instructions that say write an equation of the line perpendicular to 3x plus 4y equals 12 that passes through the point negative 5, comma 4. So now we're at the point we were when we were doing parallel lines. What we're going to do is replace the x and y in this new equation with the coordinates, the x and y coordinates of the point that's given. So now we have 4, and we replace the x by negative 5. So 4 times negative 5 minus 3 times the y coordinate, which is 4. And that will be equal to c. So to simplify this, now we have negative 20. minus 12 is equal to c, and that means that c is equal to negative 32. So if we put c back into uh, this equation up here, then that means our perpendicular line, the equation in standard form, will be 4x minus 3y is equal to negative 32. So once again, we took the coefficients of the original equation and swapped them. The coefficient of x becomes the coefficient of y. The coefficient of y becomes the coefficient of x. And we change the sign. And that gives us the left side of the equation. That process is taking the negative reciprocal of the original slope. And then we take the coordinates of the given point, plug them in for x and y, solve for c, and then we're able to write the equation of the line that's perpendicular to the original line, and that passes through the point negative 5, comma 4. Uh, let's do another example. Our next example says, uh, write an equation of the line perpendicular to 5x minus 9y equals 45 that passes through the point 1, comma, negative 4. And so, uh, once again, we're going to swap the coefficients.
and we are going to uh, change the sign and when we do that we end up with the following we get 9x plus 5y is equal to c and so again we have to figure out what c is so uh, we're going to take the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the point that's given and plug them into the x and y variables in our equation we get 9 times 1 plus 5 times negative 4 let's uh that last parentheses again is equal to C. Boy, that's one day I will get better at drawing these. And that's equal to C. So we have 9 minus 20 is equal to C. Quite a zero there. Okay, or negative 11. is equal to C. Then if we go back to uh, our original change there, um, we end up with 9x plus 5y is equal to negative 11. So again, we swapped the coefficients, changed the sign, and then take the coordinates of the given point, plug them in, and solve for c. In our final statement, we have the swapped coordinates, the changed sign, and the value of c. And that gives us our equation that's perpendicular to the original line, and it passes through the given point. Let's do one more example. So this time we have this example. Write an equation of the line perpendicular to 7x minus y equals 14. That passes through the point negative 3 comma negative 5. And so as before, once again, we are going to swap the coefficients. And we are also going to change the sign. And so uh, the, the coefficient in front of the y here is 1. So we get 1x. And over here we'll have 7y and changing the sign it becomes positive. So a plus sign and that's going to be equal to some number c which we don't know yet okay so now we're going to uh, plug in the the uh, coordinates of a given point we plug in negative 3 for x we have plus 7 times negative 5 and that's equal to c And that gives us negative 3 minus 35 is equal to C. Or in other words, C is equal to negative 38. And so our final uh, result is X plus 7y is equal to negative 38. So hopefully this method of doing it by switching the coefficients, swapping the coefficients, changing the sign, and solving for the, the missing number 
helps you to simplify this process.